Nigerian officials claim its military knows the location of the 276 schoolgirls kidnapped by Boko Haram terrorists more than a month ago. But is a ruling out of the use of force to rescue them? And the U.S. military is not confirming Nigeria's report. NBC's Jim Lichtschewski joins us now from the Pentagon with more on this story. Francis, I've got to tell you that there is more skepticism and confusion here about what the Nigerian defense chief said than there is any hope. Now, they say that if the Nigerian defense chiefs claim that they do know where the girls are is in fact true, uh, that it wasn't as a result of any kind of U.S. intelligence or surveillance activity, because quite frankly, officials here say we, meaning the U.S. military, still has no idea idea where those girls are, even though they've been flying drones over that area uh, for about a week and a half now. Still no sign of the girls. Uh, now, again, if the claim is true, it's believed anyway uh, that it sounds like the Nigerians are preparing some kind of prisoner swap with Boko Haram, the militant organization that kidnapped those girls. Swap some of the kidnapped, or if not all of the kidnapped girls, for Boko Haram prisoners now being held. Uh, by the Nigerian government. But I've got to tell you, the U.S. officials and even Nigerian officials say uh, a, any kind of rescue attempt mm -hmm. appears pretty much out of the question uh, because it would require an is not likely to succeed and could actually end up uh, killing those 276 girls that were kidnapped. And of Francis. course, the welfare of the, the girls is uh, definitely paramount. That's, that's the most important thing. Jim Mikliszewski, thank you so much.